My name is Aaron Cairo. I'm a sponsored skateboarder from the San Francisco Bay Area, and today I'm going to teach you how to get your ollie down with the skater trainers. If you know the steps of the ollie, but you're still struggling to get your actual ollie down, this video is for you. Skater trainers are the equivalent of like training wheels for your skateboard. If you've seen a lot of my other tutorials, you'll see that I always would say, put your wheels in a crack. Now this is better than putting your wheels in a crack or having your skateboard on grass or on the carpet, because if your wheels are in a crack, like so, you can just pop and your wheels can go out of that crack, right? So the situation with the skater trainers is that these are a confidence building tool. So for your very first learning how to do this, you just pull these apart just like this and you can stretch them as hard as you want because they're not gonna break and it doesn't really matter if they're loose on there either. The point of these is just so your wheels don't roll. It's a very good thing when you're very, very, very first starting and I've been teaching people how to skate with these and it's really helping them get it a lot faster than they would have, which is awesome, it's an awesome bonus. So you just put those on just like yay. So we're gonna go over the full steps of the Ollie in this video and I'm gonna show you how you can utilize these as a tool to help you learn the Ollie, whatever trick, it doesn't really matter what trick, but for this particular video, we are covering in full the Ollie. The reason these are better than putting your wheels in a crack is because if your wheels are just in a crack and you pop, your wheels are gonna slide out, right? And now that's the most dangerous part is that landing for beginner, 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 beginner. I don't know if you guys saw the video that I made with Chloe, but we were using these in that and oftentimes she jumped and she landed like that and her weight was so far off to one side or the other, if these weren't on, she would have just with that being said, you do have to um, eventually take these off, obviously. You're not gonna like learn to skate with just these on all the time. And there is that previous step of just pushing and riding your board, which is very, 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 very important. And as you guys know, I tell you to do that as like the biggest, most important thing that you should be doing is learning how to ride. So this obviously doesn't take that away. You still need to learn how to ride, but like I said, this does get your confidence up. The other thing that we would tell people is you could use carpet, you could use grass. Now the other problem with carpet or grass is that you hear this? Snap, crackle, pop. That pop is very important. So if this was carpet, obviously it'd be like thud, 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 or grass, same deal. So that, boom, that pop is actually gonna help you learn how to ollie. So it's actually easier here on the concrete with these holding your wheels than it is gonna be on grass or carpet or whatever. Now that you got your skater trainers on, you are ready for the steps of the Ollie and you're not gonna be doing any pushing. First things first, foot position. The foot position is that your toe, the ball of your toe right here in the middle of that tail, just like that on the edge right there just like that now it is important that you do have the ball of your foot because your toe is going to be slapping down like that another point that i do want to make is it's not like you're pushing your whole leg down i mean you are in a sense but you're going to get a lot more power pushing down like that that is very important so have the ball of your foot on the center of your tail like that and your front foot should be up here just like that and you can see this little wear on my shoe right here that's where your foot is going to be dragging. So it's very important to have that there. Very, very, very important. Don't have your foot too far up and don't have your foot too far back. Find a nice comfortable position about right there. And that is the foot position for the all. Practice step numero uno. Okay guys, so the purpose of the practice step is to get your muscle memory memorized. So muscle memory is basically your muscles and they remember things. They're like, hey, I've done this before. I know how to do this again. So the more you repeat these motions, the easier it's gonna be to put it all together. But, you do have to have done those motions before because obviously if you just step on a skateboard and it's your very first time and you try to just do that, good luck. So we're gonna go through all of the practice steps with the skater trainers on so you can see how to actually practice, how to build your muscle memory, build that up to get the ollie, and then you can take the skater trainers off and you're ready to roll. 
Your left foot, like I said, you're gonna push down on your toe. You're gonna push down like that, and you're gonna bend. Your right knee is going to bend. A lot of times when I'm teaching a very, very beginner, they seem to be very stiff like this. Um, especially Lance, he likes to clench his fists and get his whole body stiff. And then kind of go, um, bend your knees. Feel free to bend those knees, that's very important. Also, if you fall and your knees are bent, you're much closer to the ground, it's your accident proof. But you should wear a helmet and the pads, it will help that out as well. So. Just repeat that step. Lift your front foot up, bend your front knee, push down on your toe. I really want to emphasize that it might look like my whole leg is pushing down, and my whole leg is pushing down. But one thing that I've noticed with beginners that, that makes a big difference, because a lot of times it'll be kind of like this, is you're gonna get a lot faster and more powerful of a pop if you go like this. Right, because when I actually ollie, goes so fast, um, but the back foot is like, so you can, you can practice that as a motion in the practice step to build that muscle memory. All right, well that's step numero uno. Step two, stand like this, as if you had completed step one and now you're like this. Now ready for step two? This is where the muscle memory becomes very, 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 very important. That is a very awkward motion. That's not a motion that you just, you're not like walking down the street, going to the burrito shop and you're like, no, unless you slipped and fell and probably injured your ankle. So that is an awkward motion. Whenever I have people practicing the ollie, I'm like, just stand there, just let it go. Let it go, just go like this. <laughs> and they might feel stupid, they might look stupid, but trust me, when you learn how to ollie, it's not stupid. So, you can see the mark on my shoe, you can see the mark on the grip tape, and it's dragging just like that. Motion. That is very important to get, because basically what's going to occur, is your back foot is gonna slap down, your front foot is gonna drag up like that, and then push forward. The drag up is actually what's lifting the board into the air. Then you push forward and your board levels out and then you can land. Bada boom, bada bing. Like I pointed out earlier, the most dangerous part where people generally slip out and fall the most is on that landing. Sometimes they just go like this. And they're leaning so far back because of the way they push their foot down and their weight that the board flies out and they fall. That's why the skater trainers can help you to just get it down, put them on the wheels, Boom, because it doesn't really matter. If you're leaning really far forward, I guess the worst that could happen is you're gonna like step off, you know? The good thing is the board's not rolling. <laughs> step three, if I wanna add a little step that I have found useful for people, is dragging and kicking forward. Kicking forward. I feel like the uh, Chloe skate support video, this is a very important step for her. She would kind of jump, but she would kind of jump back. And you need to kind of keep your weight centered and you need to jump forward a little bit. I kept telling her like, practice like jumping like this. Because your foot does need to go up and forward, right? That's how the board levels out. Step four, putting all that together. This is where the uh, emotional breakdown occurs when you try this for 10 minutes and you're like, I'll never learn how to skateboard. Don't worry about it. Skateboarding is not easy. It takes some time to learn. So take some time to learn. All of those steps. You just have to do all of those steps at once. There's not really much else I can tell you other than practice, 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 practice. Go back and practice the earlier steps. Here's what I see a lot of beginners doing. And here's what you guys can do as well. You can film yourself and see which of the practice steps is not occurring. So quiz, which of the practice steps is not occurring? That's right, Lance, no foot drag. 
you need this. So then they can go to just this. Just dragging your foot up, practicing that muscle memory. Work that out until you get it. Now, try it again. And it might be a little better, it might be kind of like this. Then you go, okay. You need to drag and then push forward some more. Drag, push forward. Drag, push forward. And then you can kind of get it like this. And then you're like, whoa! I ollied, I can do it! You film yourself in slow-mo and you see that all four wheels have come off the ground. Once you get all four wheels off the ground, you're like, I can do this. And then with more practice, more and more practice, you get it higher, better, more stable, etc. So this whole time you've had the skater trainers on. These are a tool. These are an aid. These are gonna help you build the confidence, gonna help you learn it faster. Because you see how those four steps that you're putting together if you add in the step of the board rolling, it can be a little scary. I guess it, it begins to get scary when you mess up once, the board flies out and you fall and you get rocked. I think that's about when it gets scary. So if that never happened to you, great. If you spent a very long time learning to how to push and get around, which you're gonna have to do anyways, because you're gonna have to learn with the skater trainers off anyways, then that's good too. But trust me, when you start putting these four steps together, you're gonna want a little bit of an extra tool, right? So. You've still got the pop of the concrete, your board is stable, you're not gonna slip out. So it's that confidence builder, that confidence builder. Because I can sit there and say, just commit, just commit, just commit. But it will help you to have something holding your wheels in place so that you're not flying out this way or that way. So now that you've gotten it to this point, guess what guys? Training wheels off. Now, Put your board down. Do the exact same steps. It already like already feels different. Things are different. I'm all of a sudden rolling out of frame. You're gonna have to do all those same steps like this. And do it still, do it still. Remember how important that earlier muscle memory was and once you get that, it should build your confidence to the point where you can do it without the skater trainers. If you need to throw the skater trainers back on and practice any of those earlier steps, do that. But eventually, like I said, take them off, learn to push around all over the place. Spend a lot of time pushing around on your board, guys. It will really, really, really help you. And then put all those four steps together while rolling. I think there's nothing better than like the first ollie. Like you get your first ollie and then you learn how to ollie up a curb and you're like, what? Mind blowing! Cause then you can ride around, cruise down the street, ride up the curb and any other like person that sees you is like, that guy's legit. My first ollie in Montana over a hose, um, which is about yay high, <laughs> Took me a good, I would say a good six months to learn how to ollie. Um, obviously I've been skateboarding for a very long time, over 20 years, and I progressed to learn quite a few tricks. But I wanted to let you guys know that so that you don't go after an hour of skating or maybe even a day or maybe even several weeks. Oh, I can't get this. You have also a lot more tools than I have. I didn't have any tutorials. I didn't have help. I didn't have skater trainers. I didn't have um, even as nice equipment. I didn't have this nice equipment, right? So it's definitely gonna be much easier for you guys, but do not get discouraged. Sometimes the best skaters are the ones that took the longest to learn those first tricks. So your friend might hop on the board and learn an ollie in two hours. It might take you two weeks. But later on, you might be doing more tricks than he did because you just kept on going with it and pushed forward, right? So you have to persist. You have to practice, you have to get that muscle memory down. And again, um, the skater trainers are definitely recommended. When I started teaching beginner, beginner, beginners, especially people that are learning for the very, very first time, the skater trainers are a huge help. If you guys saw that video with Chloe, it's, it made all the difference in the world. She was like, I will not learn how to ollie. No, I'm not doing that video. Cause I was like, hey, come to the Braille house today and we'll film a video. And then she got here and I was like, I'm gonna teach you how to ollie. And she was like, I'm leaving. No, you're not. And then with the help of the skater trainer, she learned how to ollie. And then she herself was like, what? So 
we, meaning Lance and I and Gabe and everyone else at Braille Skateboarding, want you guys, new skaters, to start skateboarding and the skater trainers will help you. So get them, check it out, learn to ollie. Skateboarding Made Simple will go over all of the steps. All of the tutorials that we've made have gone over all of the steps, which you can also find on YouTube. And you just practice those steps, get the muscle memory down, and bada boom, bada bing, you're on your way to doing kick flips, heel flips, and coming to the Braille House Party and beating Lance in a game of skate. So thank you, 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 each and every one of you guys. And I hope that you guys are all learning how to skateboard. Please subscribe, please like. You guys can get skater trainers in the link below and learn to skateboard. If you've never skateboarded before, take it as your New Year's resolution to learn to skateboard. Let's go. Definitely check out Skateboarding Made Simple. It's available on all these platforms, iBooks, railskateboarding.com, and Google Play. It's the most comprehensive video we've ever made and it teaches skateboarding better than anything else out there. You won't be disappointed.